away from the 2010 primary and the local political races are heating up. The Democratic race for an Oasis County judge took an ugly mm -hmm. turn today when one of the candidates took issue with the other's military service record. Our Dave Johnson is first to 10 tonight with that story. Dave? Well, this is the race to face the incumbent Lloyd Neal in November. It is between local attorney Juan Reyna and local insurance agent Clarissa Gonzalez. The barb started flying today when Reyna accused Gonzalez of lying about her military service. Now, with this political newspaper called La Politica, the front page advertisement says Clarissa, quote, joined the Navy and received an honorable discharge. Well, it seems that Ms. Gondalas did not receive an honorable discharge, but a medical discharge for visual impairment. But I don't know then how you can tell the community, and this was published, this went out in tens of thousands of flyers all over Nueces County. Tens of thousands of times you have told the public that you were discharged honorably from military service. And I believe that is an intentionally misleading of, uh, of, of the public. I think it's wrong. And I think that she should apologize to the good people of Nueces County. Well, early this evening, Clarissa Gonzalez told us that she did enlist in the Navy. She took the oath. She made high enough scores on her test to be recruited as a nuclear engineer. But that vision problems kept her out of active service, and it eventually led to her medical discharge. She blames it on a wording mistake on a local publishing company, Royal House Publishing, who took her information and wrote an ad. They are the ones who use the term honorable discharge instead of medical. It was an ad that my campaign purchased, and uh, the information was given to them. And, uh, you know, uh, the translation, what I know now should be the correct term, early level separation, uh, was not used. Uh, other words were used. Uh, and uh, it was not my intent to misrepresent myself as something that I'm not, something that I wish I could have been, because it was always my intent to serve. Teresa Gonzalez also said tonight that Juan Reyna has voted Republican. Reyna told me earlier uh, that he actually voted in the 2006 GOP primary in Nueces County, but he says he's a lifelong Democrat who is bipartisan. Stay tuned, guys. Election Day is only 96 <laughs> yeah. hours away. Yeah, four, four days. That's right. All Thanks, right. Dave. Thanks, Dave. This Election Day, make the right decision for Clarissa Gonzalez, a businesswoman of honesty, integrity, and transparency.